Welcome to the Power Automate Shorts. In today's video, let's talk about how we can sort array in Power Automate. To sort array in Power Automate, we need to use sort function. So here you can see that I have variable called array and this add the value of array. Now let's add a compose action and let me show you the formula. So I'm just clicking on the formula bar and going to use a sort function. Inside the sort function, you need to pass that variable. The variable was variable string array. So let's just provide that variable inside my sort function. So let's provide variable string array. And we are done. Let's taste the output. So this was my initialize variable and now in compose action after sort you can see that in alphabetical order it has been sorted over here. Now let's discuss about the second use case where I have object of an array and here I have two key value pairs name and age. Now first I want to sort by age and then I want to sort by name. How can I do that? It's very easy. You need to similar way I added the compose action. In the sort, first of all you need to provide the array name which is variable array employee and you need to type comma after that and you need to pass the key name using which you want to apply the sort. So I am adding the value as age. So first it will sort based on the age. Now let's say if you want to sort based on the name then you need to use similar sort function and over here you can see that I have added the same array variable name and I provided the sort column name as name key right so this is how you can just apply the sort with column for object of an array now let's taste this flow ran successfully and over here you can see that the first sort was by age so you can see that age number 3 23 63 so it has successfully ordered and similar way in the second compose action we have added sort by name so you can see it arranged based on the alphabetical order isn't that cool now the question arises in our mind that this is something which is ascending order now how about the descending order so if you want to reverse the sort order you need to use a function called reverse and you just need to provide your sort result inside that and you can change the order of the sort so now for that let me just add one more compose action over here and inside that we will use a function reverse and in reverse I am just providing output of compose 3 and what it will do is it will just reverse the result that we are getting on the above action so if we go to the flow run here you can see that clearly the alphabetical order has been changed A to Z is in the descending order now so that's it for today Looking for any training and consultation? This is the website link and follow me on all my social media handles from my channel cover page. With this, see you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.